Let's draw today Margarita Strawberry Cocktail in Adobe Illustrator in retro style with texture. You can use that design, for example, for poster in your house. Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And that video is an idea from this video. In that video you will find 10 ideas for selling your designs on stocks. If you're interested, you can find the link below this video. And if you want to know more about graphic design, I want to invite you to my Telegram channel. And as well, if you want to know more about my personal life in Montenegro, in a small town, Herzegnoi, then welcome to my Instagram. And now let's start to draw our design. These are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. This is size of my artboard, it's 1080 to 1350. And this is my artboard and this is my colors here. Let's take for now any color, let it be that color and rectangle tool. Let's create the rectangle like that. Now uh, let's take free transform tool and that option and squeeze here a little. Now ellipse tool with the same color. Let's create the ellipse here. At first we need to create the main shapes. Now select both shapes and align them like that. Now let's take rectangle tool again and let's create the first rectangle here like that and one more rectangle here. Now select that shape and free transform tool, squeeze it a little and direct section tool, select these two points around the corners, hold and drag to round the corners, make a little wider, wider the shape. Now here select these two points with direct section tool and round corners. OK, make it wider. Select all shapes and align them. Select these two shapes and make them bigger. OK. Now select all shapes, align again. Now select these two shapes and go to Pathfinder Unite. Now direct selection tool, select these two points, hold and drag to round corners. OK. Now select that shape, go to Object, Path, Offset Path, minus 25 or minus 30, so as you like here. Now let's take red color. OK, it's ready. Now select these brown shapes and Pathfinder Unite. Now select these two points with direct selection tool and round corner and do the same here. Now select that color for the shape, for the brown shape and take the color a little darker and pen tool. And let's draw here the shape like this. Select the glass and the shape, shape builder tool, hold odd and delete unwanted part. OK. And bring that shape to front. Now copy and paste twice the red shape. One of the copy move a little to the left and a little up. Select both shapes and go to Pathfinder minus front. 
dark red color, ungroup and delete unwanted part here. Now we need uh, to take light color for the background and create background with help of rectangle tool and send to back. Now let's take pink color and the same rectangle tool. Select with direct selection tool that point and this one. Hold and drag to round and bring these two shapes to back. Okay. Now select all shapes without background and move them a little up like that. Okay, now brown color and ellipse tool create here the shadow. Make it a little wider, put here, select these three shapes and send to back. Okay, and now with rectangle tool and brown color create the next shape, rotate, put here, make it thinner. Hold ALT and make copy, rotate a little, ok, now uh, let's select red shapes and bring them to front, like that. Now let's take green color and ellipse tool, hold SHIFT to create the perfect ellipse. Now Select the ellipse, go to object, path, offset path, minus, for example, 20. OK, now take yellow color and uh, let's take rectangle tool, create the rectangle like this with green color. OK. Now select uh, that rectangle and make it thinner. Select both ellipses and group them. And now align that rectangle and ellipses. Now rotate that rectangle. I need 45 degrees. Copy. Ctrl D two times. OK. Now rectangle tool, create the rectangle like that, select both shapes and make clipping mask. Make the lime a little smaller, rotate and now copy, just hold out and make copy. OK, rotate it as you like. OK, now uh, let's take ellipse tool and dark red color and make some design elements like that. Here we need, I think, a little bigger. Let's um, move that shape here, delete this one and put that one here. OK. Now let's take white color and rectangle tool, create the rectangle, select um, direct selection tool, round all corners, rotate, put here and make transparency about 50%. Now make some copies of that eyes like this. OK, uh, now let's create one more ellipse here and go to Effect, this dot and Transform, Parker and Bloat. Move the slider here. Like that. OK. Object expand appearance. Now take pen tool with plus, add anchor point tool, and add some points here, and select that point with direct selection tool and move down like this. And now 
make it a little smaller, put that highlight here and this one here. Okay, now let's take a uh, ellipse tool with red color. With dark selection tool, move that point down and this point a little down and with free transform tool and that option squeeze it a little and make here a little wider okay now let's take a white light color and ellipse tool create some elements of our strawberry here like this now take green color and pen tool create here leaves Okay, rotate it a little, move that point a little down with the reflection tool, okay, and put here. Now select that shape, our strawberry, and group it and put here. Now hold Alt and make the copy and send the strawberry shadow and background to back like that and put here now let's create salt here with white color and ellipse tool Okay, and bring the strawberry to front. Now select only salt, group it, Ctrl G, and make some copies like that. A little move the shapes. Okay, it's ready. Move that shape a little here. Okay, the salt is ready, now uh, make the copy and put here ungroup group and a little play with the salt as you like it. And now let's add texture, go to file, place, select the photo. You will find the link to the photo below this video. Now place. OK. Rotate it. OK, make it a little bigger like that. Now uh, go to Window, Image Trace. And now uh, Advanced. Uh, ignore color that slider here and preview 
and now go to object expand or just expand here okay now the shape is ready make it white color okay now let's move uh, the texture to our design okay now uh, transparency soft light and here um 40 percent okay the texture is ready now let's add the text text to now let's write margarita and now let's write strawberry now let's select fonts here we need that one and for strawberry this one you will find the fonts below this video put margarita here let's um, make here a little wider 100 okay brown color and here we need red color strawberry here bring the texture to front and now copy and paste background bring the, the background to front ctrl a and make clipping mask okay the design is ready well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos in the graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye